How is it going, Dad? If I says no, Daddy here, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. Guys, I'm in yet another competitive server, and it is still the January 2018 season. I'm currently recording this on February 1st, but in theory, in theory, the January 2018 season should be ending today. So, once the season ends, we will get our competitive prizes for the month. Pretty cool, guys. So, I'm here at the end, the very end of the season, because it is time, guys. It is freaking time. It is time for the January 2018 monthly shoutouts. And if you don't know what that is, basically, I shout out the top 10 people on the leaderboard by the end of the season, as long as it's still monthly. Um, if, he, if it becomes weekly, I'd probably stop just because that's a lot to do at once. But, yeah, guys, these are the January 2018 monthly shoutouts. These are the people on the leaderboard who have worked so hard, so hard to get on the top 10. Because, guys, I have a champion blame myself. Because I got on the top 10. It is not easy, guys. It is not easy at all. It takes a lot of time and skill. So, I believe these people deserve some recognition for all of their hard work. Because... It's very hard to get on the top 10. So, I'm going to be shouting out the top 10 people in on the leaderboard. Again, if you get top 10 during a monthly season, I will personally give you a shout out. So, we're going to go here. And that is me. That is my current position. I'm number 53. I should be good for the rest of this season. Because, again, it should be ending today. I think I'll be fine to stay on the top 100 for the Elegant Blade. But that's not the point right now. I'm going to be shouting out the top 10 people. So we scroll up here. Shout out to XL Doom LX. Shout out to you, dude. Good job. Shout out to Brooke. Yep. Shout out to Zep underscore I. Shout out to Upheaval. Shout out to Nicholas Ray 333333. Shout out to No Hack Just Skill. I'm sure that, that's a lot of skill. Shout out to Wyatt. Shout out to Blast Go. Shout out to JJ Commentates. I see you, dude. This is actually a fan. Very good job getting on the leaderboard. He was also the same position that um I was in when I was doing when I was on the leaderboard. So shout out to you, JJ Commentates. Very very good job. And last but not least, shout out to the number one on the leaderboard, Adam underscore two zero one five six XX. You guys have done a very good job this month getting the top 10. That is very impressive. So shout out to you guys. And just shout out to everybody else on this leaderboard. I'm not going to say all the names. But you've all worked very, very hard this season. So very good job. And enjoy your weapons. Also guys, once the January, once this season is over, there are going to be a grand total of 37 champion blades that exist in Assassin. There's currently only 27 of these, but once the season is over, there's going to be 37 champion blades in the game. Uh, will you be able to trade it? Probably not, but hey, it's, it's good to know. But yeah, guys, that is it. I just want to do those monthly shout outs, but with the power of editing, guys, we are now going to go into the future, all right? We're going to go to the February season to get our prizes using the power of editing. So here we go, guys. I will see you in the future. Okay guys, so we are on the select game mode right now, and there is classic and deathmatch, but competitive is offline for now, so very unfortunate, but we still have classic and deathmatch right here. When will competitive come back? We do not know, but uh, we'll see what happens. But for now guys, we're going to click classic and we are going to get our prizes, ladies and gents. So here it is. We, we got our season rewards, guys. So we have the red sparkle time knife. It should be a rare. We got tokens. And we have the axe, guys. This is going to be the main focus of this episode. We just got the axe that we've been trying to get. Very nice. Well, we're going to be using this today in particular because this is, this is a new one. And, guys, we have succeeded. We have the elegant blade. For being one of the top 100, we just got the Elegant Blade, which is awesome. So yeah, guys, they're in my inventory now. We have the Bone Axe and the Elegant Blade. And if we scroll down here, we have the Red Sparkle Time. And that is very nice. So guys, if you look here in the shop, you will see that there is actually a new Valentine's Bundle coming out. And don't worry, guys, I will be buying this in this episode. But first, I'm just going to show off the Axe a bit. Because I've worked hard for this Bone Axe, so I'm going to show you guys some gameplay on it. 
All right, guys, so we're in a round right now. I'm probably going to lose it because I actually have a mission here, but I believe our first target is AFK. Stab you. What? 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 Uh, wrong player who? Wrong player who, exactly? But yeah, guys, this is the brand new Bone Axe. It's called the Bone Axe, and it is pretty cool. It's, it's a little smaller than I expected, but it's pretty cool. Gonna throw it out a window. And, you know, a lot of people have it, actually. Quite a few people have it. I'm going to look at the value on it on the value list in a little bit. Because I haven't actually checked it yet. But, um, it's very nice. There seems to be a bit of delay here, which I don't like. There's a bit of delay with the throwing knife, which, um, kind of stinks. That definitely caused me to lose. You know that delay that everybody experiences once in a while. Like, you throw a knife. And it takes like a split second for it to actually uh, fly. So, yeah. Hello there, Ice Lord. I need one of those, actually. Can I trade for that? Can I trade for that? Did you just leave? Did you... No, you didn't just leave. No, I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. I plugged in the Ethernet cable. It's much better. I'm no longer lagging. So, that's very good. The delay is gone. I'm gonna stab you. And I'm playing much better now. Even though that was the wrong player. But I'm still playing significantly better. Okay, going to find my target. There he is. What is he doing? He's got that Ice Lord that I desperately want because I'm actually missing a, um, Ice Lord. I just don't have it. I have, like, almost every single exotic except uh, Cupid and Ice Lord. So, yeah. And I'm about to buy me a Cupid. So, if you could trade that Ice Lord, that'd be real nice. Hello there, sir. Would you like a Gilded? Oh, you're offering more. Alright, that's kind of awkward. Uh, Sparkle. Oh, oh, oh god. You're, you're making this complicated for me, my dude. I, I'll add, I guess I'll add an extra for that. I don't really want... I don't really want a reindeer, though. So, can I just put a... Yeah, I'm just gonna cancel that out. And... Rainbow. Rainbow, or maybe Faberge. I don't know. Rainbow, that's equal to two legendaries, so I would rather do that if possible. I'm giving you a rainbow, my dude. Why wouldn't you ever want that? Trade ended. That stinks. Okie dokie. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to find my target. I just don't know where he is, though. Is he in here? Is he in the, the, the cave? He's not in the cave. Okay, that's fine. There he is. All right, found him. Get him. Get him. Come on. There we go. Good job. GG. This guy is seemingly AFK. Or no, he, he was typing, apologizing, and I killed him in response. But that's fine. So yeah, as you can see, the axe, it has a decent hitbox. It moves relatively quickly. Pretty good knife overall. I'm going to go to the pool map because I have a mission there, so I would like to do that. Can I have corrupted? You are not going to get corrupted for a freaking nice lord. Would you like an earthen blade instead? I don't really care. These things are kind of low in demand at the moment. I wouldn't really care giving one, but uh, you're, n you're not you're not getting an axe. It's not gonna happen. No corrupted axe for um, an ice lord. So yeah, uh, you're gonna take it because I wouldn't mind doing this kind of trade. I'm down. Yeah, I'm close to crafting a rainbow anyway. I'll take that. All right, there we go. Just got an ice lord. Um, this is gonna be the first time I'm going to have every single exotic, mythic, and dream for a while. Let me equip the bone axe because. Um, that's kind of the highlight here. I do have Elegant Blade, but I don't think that's going to be really interesting to you guys. So I kind of just showed the process of actually getting it. But I have a Champion Blade. And you, you guys have seen Elegant Blade before, but this, this is new. This is, this is hot new on the market. And we just completed that mission, so that is pretty cool. Just got me a good 50 tokens. I still have to win on the Jail and Subway maps, which are not here right now, so that's fine. I'm going to pick the Ruins. See, if I get a green right now, I'll be able to craft another rainbow because I just traded one. If I get another green game, I said if I get another green, I will I will be able to craft a rainbow. Game? Game. Alright, well, a rare. Better than a common, I guess. I really shouldn't open cases during a round because I just got wrecked, but whatever. Hello, how can I help you? A candy- I would like another candy blade. Genuinely, I would not mind giving a candy blade away. Though, I think I might do a bone axe giveaway relatively soon. I just have to find somebody to trade with. But I would like another candy blade. Would you like a striker and maybe mech falcon? Because I'm kind of down for that kind of trade. 
order it. I, I don't know if you take that or not. That's a relatively good deal. All right, well, since since I just got Elegant Blades, I might as well show it to you guys. It's actually surprisingly refreshing to use an Elegant Blade because I, I'm so used to Champion Blade that it's better to have Elegant Blade. It's kind of ironic, actually. But yeah, I got this from being top 100. It was pretty good. So my advice to you guys, if you ever... If competitive mode ever comes back from the dead once again and as a competitive season and you guys want to get an elegant blade for yourselves my advice is go to competitive mode and play until you have enough tokens to afford one elite case you know just one elite case without spending robux or anything just play don't disassemble any exotics i don't really think you can craft in competitive mode anyway so i don't think you could craft tokens but you know just play until you have enough tokens to get an elite case and do that every single day guys so one elite case every day that should be enough to get you an elegant blade if you're getting champion blade that's a completely different story you could have to play a lot more than that but yeah that's my advice that's my advice to you guys if you want to get an elegant blade but i'm just going to show the bone axe off for a couple more rounds and then we're going to buy the special new valentine's bundle but i'm gonna open a case before i do that i got myself a purple i just unboxed a purple guys gg i just got another purple to add to my collection even though i have to sacrifice one in order to craft a rainbow but hey at least i unboxed one that felt pretty satisfying okie dokie gonna stab you you are not my target oh god this guy's avatar and picture are completely different genuinely guys all right real talk right here i personally don't do this but changing your outfit in assassin is just such a good strategy just in general because your target picture is going to be different from your actual avatar and like when when i look for a target i always look for like their picture so w when somebody changes their avatar it totally throws me off like, I can just totally walk away from my target and not even realize it. But, yeah, guys, I just won that round relatively quickly with flying colors. It's very nice. Anyway, guys, before I buy the Valentine's pack, I would just like to inform you guys on the value of Bone Axe at the moment. So, if you look at the official value list made by an admin, Zikoi, um, you will see that Bone Axe is currently worth 8 exotics. And it has a blue status. And if you don't know what the colors mean for statuses, basically blue means hyped. And what hyped means is it is brand new. It is like super duper, ex like everybody wants it. Basically, the Bone Axe is a brand new knife, so a lot of people like it. And therefore, it is really, really high in demand. So because of that, it is much higher in value than it normally is. And that is why the Bone Axe has the blue status. So if you go on the value list, you'll th there's a there's a blue eight. So that's the status for Bone Axe at the moment. So usually when a knife has a blue status, that usually means it you know it's high it's high in value now, but it's it's most likely going to decrease in value in the future. So my prediction is you know Bone Axe is, it's about eight exotics now, which is pretty cool, but it's probably going to go down to about four maybe that's my prediction it will go down to four and then after a little bit you know it would probably end up being around five exotics so you know just inform you guys in the value list it currently says eight exotics but my personal prediction again this is just my prediction just knowing how assassin works after playing it for x amount of time just to let you guys know um, it's definitely, well, not definitely, but most likely, it's most likely going to go down in value, the Bone Axe. And I feel like it's probably going to end up around 5 exotics. I could be wrong, it could, it could be whatever, but I'm just giving you guys my personal opinion regarding the value of the Bone Axe. So, if you played in competitive mode and you got yourself a Bone Axe, just letting you guys know what it is worth at the moment. If you want to make major profit of the Bone Axe, now would be the perfect time to do it because it is new it is hyped it is high in demand so you could probably trade it off for some pretty good stuff and you know hopefully wait a little while and then get it back for a lower price that's just my advice but you know it could be whatever oh wow i just got 70 kills on that and i wasn't even paying attention gg i'm desperate for a green knife my dudes i'm desperate because i'm so close to crafting a rainbow 
But I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because I'd have to sacrifice a purple. Which I really don't want to do. We are so close. We are so close to getting um, 300 purple knives. And that's insane, guys. 300 of one common. That is so many... There's so many purple knives, guys. I'm so glad that we've got that we, you know, we've made it this far to get nearly 300. I'm trying. My long-term goal is to get over 1,000 purple knives, but that's going to take a very, very long time. But you know, I haven't really been focusing on purple knives. I haven't really been focusing on those much because you know I've been trying to get some exotics and stuff like that. And also, I've been in um, competitive mode, so I wasn't really able to trade. So I haven't gotten a lot of purples for a while. But yeah, hopefully in the future, I can get over a thousand purples. Because that would be really freaking cool. I would definitely make a video about that if I got to a thousand purples. But yeah, guys, enough about that. If we go to the shop, you will see that there is a brand new Valentine's bundle. It's got a Cupid exotic knife and a hardy exotic pet. So yeah, guys, we're going to click buy, and this is actually the cheapest bundle yet. Prisman, I appreciate it, man. He's just getting cheaper and cheaper with his his bundles. Before, bundles were like a thousand Robux. Now, they're only 500. It's just half the price. It's great. But yeah, guys, we're going to buy the Valentine's bundle, because I always buy one of the new bundles, because I just feel like it, you know? Why not? Why not buy a new bundle? But, yeah, three, two, one, boom, purchasing, and there we go, guys, we just got the Valentine's bundle, so we're going to go into my inventory, and we're going to scroll down, and there it is, guys, the new Cupid Exotics, we're going to equip that, and we're going to equip the new pet, oh my lord, this guy's just giving a bunch of free stuff, thank you very much, Mr. Deathmeal107, shout out to this guy, is very much appreciated. So, so, the pet, the, the pet, it's a, it's a heart balloon. Like, what can I say about this pet exactly? But more importantly, what am I going to name a heart balloon? I, I don't really know what to name it at all. Well, might as well just reference Murder Mystery 2, I guess, and just name it Heart, because I don't really know what else to name it. And, you know, I always felt like that was a good name for the heart balloon. But, yeah, guys, this is it, ladies and gents, the brand new Cupid exotic knife very cool. It's been a while since we've seen like a brand new knife, you know, not like You know, there's been like new knives, but we've seen them in murder mystery 2 before so it's pretty refreshing to see a brand new Exotic knife or maybe this isn't murder mystery 2 and I just don't know about it, but whatever So I believe I've I've reached the absolute and I have every single mythic um, Dream and exotic for the first time in a very long time so, uh, that's a pretty good accomplishment, I guess. But yeah, guys, I got a lot of rares, so I am crafting at the moment. I should have enough to craft an exotic once I craft another legendary. We're going to craft camo. Alright, that's great. Not the best thing in the world. So there we go. We're going to craft camo. And now I have enough to craft an exotic. So here we go. What exotic are we going to be getting today? Um, please be a good one. Uh, because I would like... Do get a good one. Doombringer. I would definitely take it. I like Doombringer very much. Anyway, I'm going to show off some more gameplay with the Cupid knife. I'm going to throw a knife at that lady. And then I'm going to throw a knife at you. Oh, God. Where's Extreme Gamer? He tended to change his outfit a lot. Yeah. Again, I just passed my target. Not even noticing that he was there. Trying to look for him. And just going past him while looking for him. It's kind of ironic, actually. Pretty freaking ironic. All right. Let's stab this guy. There we go. Assassin eliminated. Cupid looks great, guys. I like it. It's cool. It's really big, which I like. It's got really... It's a really big sword. Nice hitbox. I really, really like it. Not as good as Candy Blade, but still. Very good bundle knife for a holiday. I wasn't really expecting um, a Valentine's Day event. Well, it's not really an event. I think Prisma's kind of just adding a bundle. I don't really think he's going to do anything more regarding Valentine's Day. But it is still very cool to get a Valentine's Day knife because I wasn't really expecting that. So it's a nice surprise to get this brand new exotic knife. It is very freaking cool. I wish there was an effect with it, but we can't always get what we want in life. 
But I do really wish it was an effect though. I mean, I kind of understand why there wasn't an effect with Kenny Blade. Because, like, there's already... Alright, there's already Freeze Effect. And there's already Frozen Fire. So I, I get why there's no um, new, like, Ice, like, Winter Effect. But I think for Valentine's Day, they could make it an effect. Maybe, like, when you kill someone, they have, like, hearts around them. Like, they're in love with you or something. Yeah, like Cupid. Yeah, it's like... You know, <laughs> if you stab someone with your knife, they fall in love with you. It's like Cupid's bow and arrow or something. It's, it's the same thing. Okay, guys, comment question. I I answer this in the comments. I if you had a knife <laughs> that could make you, that could make anybody fall in love with you, who would you stab? The th that's just weird to think about. It's a very interesting question. Leave it down in the comments. Ooh, this guy has a nice, warm, juicy skeleton cane that I wish I had. I do have one, but it would be nice to have more than one because it is really freaking rare and it would be nice to have an extra to uh, trade off in case I get a good offer or something. Oh god. Oh god. Hello. Hello. You're trying to kill me. I don't appreciate it. Please die. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. I believe this guy is still AFK. Oh, Dana, no kill. Um, I did kill. I'm sorry. Alright, this guy is in the cave. He's not in the cave. Alright. I don't know where he is. I thought he was AFK, but oh, he's locomoting. He's walking around. Okay. Alright, we got him. It's taken care of, guys. It is taken care of. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, well, uh, that's tragic. Rip no data. But yeah, guys, this is the brand new Valentine's Day knife. It's a very short bundle, actually. It's very short. It's cheap. It is short. It lasts 13 days, actually. 12 days. I'm wrong. And by the time you're seeing this, it's probably going to be around 11. 11 days left. So, get the... Get this while you can, because it's going to be unobtainable in the future. And speaking of unobtainable stuff, um, since I talked about the value of Bone Axe, I guess I'll talk about Cupid as well. Uh, Cupid's not going to be that interesting. I'm going to tell you guys, uh, right now, because I've noticed just in general, in general, the bundle knives are just never that high in demand. Like, Candy Blade's pretty high in demand, and stuff like that, but like Azure, Crypto, Blizzard, Pumpkin King, they're never really that high in demand, guys. Just letting you know that. So, word of advice, um, you can totally buy it for yourself, just... Don't trade that much. It's only going to be worth a couple of exotics, maybe like two or three maximum. But they're really not going to be worth much, especially considering Prisman reuses some. He already reused Blizzard and Azure. And once this bundle is over, he's probably just going to go back to Crypto. Crypto is probably going to come back. You'll be able to buy it again. So, you know, those, those bundles are not going to be worth much. Azure, Blizzard, and... Uh, I said it wrong. Azure, Blizzard, and Crypto. Those aren't going to be that much in value. However, Pumpkin King, Candy Blade, and Cupid, I have higher hopes for, actually. I have higher hopes for these. And the reason for that is because that, you know, they're actually like exclusive event exotics, you know? Azure, Crypto, and Blizzard, they're not for any specific holiday. So therefore, these... These three can be reused over and over again until, like, there's a million bajillion of them. But Pumpkin King, um, Candy Blade, and Cupid, on the other hand, those are for, like, holidays. Those are for, like, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas. So I feel like those are less likely to be reused, and therefore, those are probably, those are probably going to be higher in value, in my opinion. So... My word of advice, personally, when it comes to bundle knives, um, I'd probably try to go for the event bundles. Be like, if you have, like, a crypto, it's been a while since crypto has been in the bundle, but, like, even so, like, trade it for Pumpkin King, you know? I feel like that, that would be a good trade, and the reason for that is I feel like crypto bundle is just going to be reused. But on the other hand, I feel like the Pumpkin King bundle is less likely to be reused so that's just my word of advice and you know again um cupid is for valentine's day so therefore i feel like cupid is going to be one of the 
What? Well, it's gonna be one of the rarer bundles. It's gonna be. It's gonna be more rare than some of the other bundle knives. So Cupid, if you bought Cupid, be sure to hold on to it. It's not going to be worth much, but it's going to be better than um, Azure, Crypto, and Blizzard. Right now, I'm just going to open the last of these cases and see what we are going to get. I'm just going to skip because I'm bored. Um, we got ice. So, that's my 16th ice. Pretty good. We're going to open another one. And we got a metal tint. Very nice. Going to open another one. Uh, we're going to get a stupid freaking pebble. All right, time to give away the pebble. Take it. Take my garbage knife. The pebble is trash. I do not want it. Here you go for free take it yep there you go congratulations and one more case we are going to get a purple that is two purple unboxings in one video guys godlike gg i don't care that i unbox the pebble on camera I, I just got two purples at once that is great i will never do anything with this pebble i would throw it away is what i would do oh and also here is red sparkle time if you want to see it but i feel like everybody has that by now but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things that YouTube people do. Again, Bone Axe is now in the game. People have it. So if you don't have it yet, you can totally trade for it. And if you want Cupid and Hardy, you can totally get those with the brand new bundle. It is very short. It ends in, like, in a very short amount of time. So be sure to buy them as soon as possible. It's event. It's holiday exclusive. So I doubt they're going to be reused or they're going to be, they're going to be pretty good. And it's only 500 Robux, so it's relatively cheap. 500 Robux translate to like $5 in real money. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles.